Hey everyone, this is Greg from London Bridge Bricks. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. Now, if you're new around here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Now, in this video, I'm going to be looking back at a whole bunch of sets that I've bought recently with loads of Hidden Side and Harry Potter sets, giving this haul a kind, of, a kind of a magic and monsters vibe about it, along with an expensive Bricklink holder and one or two freebies thrown in as well. Now, with all this in mind, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. So that's the brief. Sit back and take a butchers of what I've been buying recently. So as is tradition uh, with my Lego hauls, we'll start off with the smallest sets first, except for, well, this isn't quite a set, but it will be one day. This is a, a Brickling calder uh, that I had come through. And there's a bit of a story behind this because I was gonna be doing Mocktober and I had this, I got this fabulous little set. It's only like, I think it's less than 300 parts actually. And I was actually gonna build it. And then I found that I was a few pieces short. And one piece in particular, I could not believe the hassle I had to try and get it. In fact, I thought it was a pretty regular piece, except for maybe it's the color. And even then, I don't even think it's particularly, uh, I think it's quite a regular sort of color, really. It's nothing out of the ordinary, it's just gray. Uh, and the other thing is as well, I couldn't buy it in this country, in the UK, secondhand or brand spanking new, or used as they like to call it on Britlink. But anyway, uh, here's one part of the order here, nothing too special, just some slopes and some red modified uh, one by two plates. Uh, that's that. There's the pieces here. Now, the one in particular, the piece in question, so to speak, is this. And it's nothing too special at all. In fact, I even got one of them uh, this week in a foil pack, except for it was white. But this is light bluish gray, which I thought for Lego, especially when it comes to Star Wars and stuff like that, was a pretty regular Lego element. But you can't get it in this country for love nor money. In fact, I, it was quite expensive. This, and this was fairly cheap as well. Like I said, it come from the Netherlands, but it still cost me about seven pounds 50. But I saw some Bricklink shops out there selling for like 31 pounds. Now, since when has that been worth 31 pounds? Now, perhaps uh, you boys and girls out there uh, can enlighten me a little bit and tell me what all this is about. I mean, is there anything in particular special about this particular wedge or something like that? Is it all those, those inverted sections there? Is there anything particular special? But anyway, let me know down in the comments below because I'm all ears for that one. But anyway, over to something that cost me a lot less. In fact, it was, it was so, so much less, it was free. In fact, the next two items I got were free, as it happens, uh, which is quite, quite a blessing, really. So anyway, with this one, look at this. How fabulous is this? Now this is R2D2, and this one came out in the 2017 May the 4th promo, and it's brilliant. And this actually got sent to me by a, a subscriber, a viewer, uh, who asked me uh, to review it for them uh, for the Poppin Polybag series that I do. So there he is, there's quite a cool picture, isn't it? It's uh, R2D2 there looking, I don't know, it's a bit of a desert background there, so I'm guessing that's uh, Tatooine, uh, that is. So I can't wait to do that. Uh, so look, look out for that in due course. I haven't done too many popping poly bags recently because I've, I've been kind of deluged with magazines to do and stuff like that. And I, and I do like doing my reviews and I quite, I quite like doing my speed builds as well, actually. But let me know in the comments below as well. I mean, what, which do you prefer me doing? Do you like me doing reviews? Do you like me doing speed builds? Or do you like me doing the mixture? I try and be an all rounded kind of YouTube channel. So please do let me know. Uh, uh, and I'll kind of tailor uh, what I like with what you guys and girls out there like as well. Anyway, something that's kind of non-Lego, but there is a strong connection between the two, is this, look at that, Funko Pop. I got sent that as well. Now this particular one was sent to me by a really good friend of the channel. He's of course Solo Brick Builder. And me and him were kind of doing some exchanging and stuff and stuff like that, and we were doing some trades, uh, but he sent this to me as a present. I think it looks absolutely fabulous. And the cool thing about this particular one as well, being the child, is that this week, of course, this Friday, I think it is, the 30th or the 31st, the new season, season two of The Mandalorian comes out. I can't wait to see that because there's gonna be some cool stuff in that. And also as well, it's arguably the best thing to come out of uh, Disney's take on Star Wars for the last couple of years or so. Albeit, I do like my Rogue One though. I think that was a pretty good movie. Now, so that's the freebie stuff and the, the kind of expensive parts from Bricklink. Uh, and that is kind of what that is. But the rest of the stuff that I've got, I've either got 
fairly cheap in the sales, and there's been loads of sales on for the last, well, six weeks, if I'm honest. Uh, or, of course, I managed to get it in a bit of a deal as well. So, starting off with this, Legondon. This is a little bit of a city update. This one is, look at these, all these plates here. So, of course, the city isn't, isn't built on love alone or rock and roll. It's built on plates, of course. And I've got all these, these here. Look at those. The classic green giant plates. Now, these, these are set number... <laughs> 10700. They're pretty funky, aren't they? But you've got to have them, though, uh, because what else are you going to build your city on? Now, as well as the green plates, of course, Greenland needs plenty of that. And there's going to be lots of park space in my uh, Legondon city. Uh, of course, you've got to have the old concrete stuff as well, the roads as well. And that's set number 60237. In fact, it's not really a set, is it? Let's face it. It's a set of plates, I suppose you could call it that. But they're pretty cool. Now, the cool thing about these, of course, is because they're quite expensive. They really are. I mean, these here, this is £7 a pop. And that's kind of expensive, especially when you've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there as well. And I've, got, I've even got a few more that are on their way as well. But I managed to get them for half price, as well as these as well. So when they're half price, you know, like, like a good old consumer that I am of Lego, I go out and I buy myself a couple of them. And you've got to get these things. And sometimes it's just the way it is. And let me know how you shop out there for Lego as well. Sometimes we're, you know, you can even get a set that I have no interest in at all. Yet, if it drops to a particular price, I'm, I'm all ears, I'm interested in it. But let me know how you feel about that. And have you ever kind of thought to yourself, nah, that set's way too expensive, but still gone out and bought it when it's kind of hit the sales. I always think that's good. And there's always a Billy Bargain out there to be had. Now, this particular set, this next one, is a Harry Potter set. And it is set number 75945, and it's the Expecto Patronum. And that's a pretty cool looking set, isn't it? I like this for all sorts of reasons. Now, the main thing I got this for was this particular uh, minifig here, Sirius Black. He comes in this. I think he's pretty cool, actually. I think he's a cool character. It's a cool actor that played him in the movies as well. And then on the back here, you'll see this. There we go. There's a Patronin stag. It's like a, a kind of a, a blue glittery stag. I think he looks really, really cool. Now this is, like I said, this is, I mean, it's only a small set. It's only 121 pieces, but it was 20 pounds. But like I said, it comes with the, the kind of the Gary Oldman uh, minifigure, but also as well, uh, you do get this stag as well. Now I paid top dollar for this, 20 pounds, which like I said, isn't a particularly expensive set, but I got it with another set which then mean, meant I got myself a deal and I got that at Leicester Square. I'll tell you about that in just a sec. So anyway, that's our first magic <laughs> set. Let's go over and look at some more monstrous ones, shall we? Uh, seeing as that's the kind of the, the theme uh, for this particular Lego haul. And, and it's this one, and this is one that I've been after. Ah, oh, do you know what, since the moment it came out and uh, it's only just discounted and it was 25 pounds it retails for here in the UK and I managed to pick it up for a smidgen under 15 pounds. And that's pretty cool, isn't it? It's the Hidden Side Supernatural Race Car and it comes with 245 parts, I think it is. And I just love it. I mean, there's a couple of things that really do stand out for me about this. One, uh, I love this particular character here. What's his name? Vaughn Geist. He's brilliant, isn't he? He's got this, um, He's got this bowler hat on there. And that, 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 that's kind of a sub theme for this particular Lego haul as well. Uh, minifigures wearing uh, bowler hats, which used to be a thing in London. You used to see them all the time on the, on the underground or the overground. Uh, but you don't see that so much these days. In fact, in probably the last 10 years in London, I've probably seen about 20 people ever wearing a bowler hat. But it does look smart. Anyway, uh, so what do I like about this? This particular set, I love to bits because of the coloration of it. The, the kind of, the British racing green mixed with the yellow there as well. I love it. And I'll tell you why I like it, because it reminds me of an old 1940s uh, Lotus Formula One car. And honestly, it, it's the, I wouldn't say it's the spitting image, but the coloration of it and everything like that works great. I mean, this isn't even to scale. It's not, it's not even to city scale. And <laughs> well, it's certainly not anything like speed champion scale anyway. But what it is though, it's a good load of fun, and I'm really looking forward to building that. In fact, I'm going to be building it this Saturday on uh, the next transatlantic live stream, which is uh, number 13. Now, I'm going to be hosting that, but by the time you see this Lego haul, it would have happened. It would have taken place already. It would have happened 
on the Saturday just gone. But anyway, if you click on the link above, uh, you can go and see and watch me actually build it. But let me know as well in the comments if you've actually built this set, because I'm a big fan of Hidden Side. And I'm going to be rather sorry if it does actually disappear in a cloud of smoke. I think it's, uh, I think it's almost a bit of a waste, actually. I, I, I can't say I'm not interested in the, the digital contents of it or anything like that. But what I will say is I love the sets. And let me know how you feel about that as well in the comments below. So we've had ourselves some magic. We've had ourselves some monsters. I think it's time to get a little bit more magic on the whole. So this set, ah, oh, now this is again, again, this is one of those sets. I wasn't, I wasn't interested in it at all. And this is set number 75947. And it's Hagrid's Hut and Buckbeat's Rescue. It's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> it really is, it's brilliant, I love it. Now, why did I get this? Well, I got this for a couple of reasons, actually. It wasn't really always on my radar to get, but there's a couple of figures that are outstanding in this. The, the Minister of Magic, again, going back to that oldie weldy uh, London look, it looked fantastic walking down Diagon Alley, won't he? Uh, and who's the other thing? Oh yeah, of course, Buckbeak as well. How cool does Buckbeak look? In fact, on the back here, it shows Harry Potter actually flying Buckbeak. It doesn't look cool. But anyway, this one comes with, uh, like you can see, six minifigures, uh, 500 parts, but it's a really expensive set. And the only reason I can think that it was particularly expensive is because obviously Buckbeak comes with it as well, and you've got to take into account of all those, all those molds and everything like that. Uh, not that it's kind of, it's not in the, the kind of league of, of Dewback or Rancor or anything like that, but it's a pretty cool looking one. Um, but what's the other thing about this that's special? Of course, it's this. Look at this, look, the light brick. I'm going to stand up and show you that there. Look at that. How cool does that look? I, don't, I think I've only got a couple of sets with light bricks in them, and I've not actually built those yet. So that's pretty cool. I'm liking that. But yeah, so this set, like I said, this is actually quite, this is one of those sets that's actually relatively expensive. It's, um, it retails for around the £50 mark, uh, which is not particularly... Um, cheap when you when you factor in uh, that it kind of it's got around the sort of 500 pieces uh, with it which is kind of not too bad um, but it's not too many parts for that amount but anyway I managed to pick it up in Tesco's uh, for like 27 pounds it was an absolute throwaway I couldn't believe it and I thought well okay it was the last one as well the box is in really good condition uh, and I do I kind of want an, an area in in my uh, in my city, Ligondon, that's that's I don't know that has these kind of other huts on them, almost like a Yoda's hut or uh, something like that. Uh, I don't know, but uh, but it's definitely something I want to factor into my city, something like that. Um, maybe I'll have like a an area of. Um, Harry Potter, like the Harry Potter zone or something like that. One thing for sure I'm definitely going to have is a Moss Eisley one because I've had loads of Moss Eisley uh, sets I've been buying. Uh, I, I probably got, need to get around to building them. In fact, modulars are the thing I'm kind of collecting at the moment. And there's a, there's a couple of really good sets today, actually, only today. Uh, when I'm filming this, I'm filming this on Thursday. Uh, and today it was announced that the new Sesame Street is coming out on the 1st November. And that is a perfect one uh, because I definitely want to be building 123 Sesame Street. And uh, I'm I might even buy that on the Sunday, November the 1st, when it comes out. And I might even do a, a like a, a live stream uh, a Sunday morning, Sunday, early Sunday afternoon or something like that, actually building it. So anyway, watch, watch, watch out for this space, folks. Um, but before that, I'm going to be doing uh, a, a pretty cool uh, stream, actually. We're doing a Halloween stream and uh, that's going to be kicking off in the UK at uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. So Saturday, Halloween day, 31st of October, of course, on the... Um, on that particular Saturday. So it's gonna be four o'clock UK and that's 11 a.m. EST USA time. So anyway, so magic. I think it's time for a little bit more magic actually. Now this set I paid full whack for along with this one. And that is this set, another Harry Potter set. <laughs> and this one is definitely one that I can't wait uh, to get into my city. Let me show you the back of it because that's uh, even more exciting. It really is. Now, this is the Attack on the Burrow, and this is £90, this particular set. Now, I paid full whack for this, which I think was about, like I said, it was £90. And, and it comes with a great bunch of minifigures. I mean, it really does. Eight minifigures. And you've got Bellatrix there, who's probably my favourite, actually. Let me show you which one's. Bellatrix, 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 where are you? Ah, there she is there. And I like her. I tell you why I like her in particular. Uh, is it me? Um, but she kind of reminds me a little bit of Amy Winehouse, she does. I think, honestly, I think it's a beautiful set and I think it will work lovely in my city as well. I mean, 
that said, for £90, you do get like over a thousand pieces. I think it's something like around a thousand and fifty pieces for this particular set. And I don't know, it kind of looks good. It kind of reminds me of a sort of downtown East End kind of place. And I and I lived in the East End for quite some time, I did, when I was growing up uh, back in the day. And uh, not that I'm saying houses actually look like that necessarily, um, but I don't know, maybe I, maybe I should have like a sort of downtown area as well in uh, in Ligondon. You know what you think about that in the comments below. I kind of want to build my city with you guys out there as well. It's not going to be about my vision and how I want it to be. Uh, I kind of want everyone to be a part of it as well. But anyway, soon enough, I will start building uh, stuff for it. And uh, I've actually received the, the tables for it now as well. But um, I'll be talking about more about that probably in some of my live streams coming up in the next couple of weeks or so. So yeah, so I paid uh, 90 pounds for this. And of course I paid 20 pounds for this set as well, which meant at the time in Leicester Square, and you'll always find me in Leicester Square, folks, uh, buying Lego in there, which meant at the time that I got uh, a free set. It's the, it was the Brickheads, uh, Hagrid and Buckbeat set. Uh, the, and it's a fantastic Brickhead set, it really is. Uh, and I really do like my Brickhead sets, um, but it was too, too good uh, of me to kind of keep hold of it really so I kind of sold it on because it was kind of a, a special gift with purchase and it just meant I, I paid even though I paid 110 pounds I got 30 pounds off that so it was almost like getting I don't know all in probably about 27 percent off uh, so I couldn't I couldn't uh, I couldn't let that one go and it's always the minifigures I'm into and don't get me wrong I really like brick heads I've built I've recently built uh, the nutcracker and again if you want to see me building that please do check uh, the card above and uh, I'll leave a link for it there for you. Um, so yeah, so th that's that's another magic set. I think it's time for another monster set. And this one is a monster set in more ways than what it really is because this is a, a monstrously massive set. And I was super excited to get this one, I really am. It's absolutely massive. I love it. I love a big box, don't you? <laughs> I don't, it's, there's something so satisfying about it, it really is. But anyway, look at this. It's humongous. This is a set that I don't know, I was actually always, I was never really gonna ever bother with it. Uh, and it's a stonking set. I mean, look at the back of it here, because sometimes you can't quite tell with the hidden side boxes what you're, what quite you're looking at. But anyway, look at this, like, set number 70425, it's Newbury Haunted High School, and it's, uh, it comes with a, a stonking 1500 parts. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? How many minifigures has it got? It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight minifigures, and I'm loving it. Honestly, there's some cool figures in there as well, most of which I I've actually got, but I haven't got this guy here. I think Wade. What's the story behind Wade, eh? He looks quite cool. Look at the torso on him. It looks brilliant, isn't it? I'm liking that. That's really cool. And what can I show you again? Let me show you the back. So what I'm thinking, again, another one for the city here. And I'm thinking, well, I could either use that as a school or maybe even convert it there into something like a, a museum or something like that. But uh, I'm loving it. There's a Mr. Clark. There we go. Yeah, Mr. Clark. Yeah, he's quite a cool character. He's a figure that I haven't actually got. I'm liking that. I think he's pretty cool. But let me let me know if you managed to get this in the sales as well. Yeah, I think he's brilliant. He was. So anyway, I got I got this from um, a shop here in the UK called Argos, and it retails it retails in this country for something like. Uh, I think it's like 100, 110 pounds, something like that it is. And oh, and it, it was one of those sets I kind of like, and even for 110 pounds, it's worth the 1500 parts. It really is. I and mean, they're still quite good value for money. But Argos, Argos was selling it for 64 pounds. I mean, that's virtually 45%. I mean, that's proper clearance sale, it really is. Uh, so I was pleased to get that. So like I said, folks, most of this is uh, a combination of, of a magic and monsters, which is kind of quite nice uh, for this time of year as well with Halloween approaching and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, that really is it. I mean, that, that pretty much wraps up, or perhaps in this case, unwraps uh, everything that I've bought in the last week or so for this magic and monsters uh, issue. Thank you as always for tuning in. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me review or perhaps speed build any of these particular sets. And don't forget, you can follow the channel on Instagram and Twitter and if you're new around here, why not hop on and subscribe and become a big part of the LBB family. I'll leave you now with some videos that I think you might like.